I'm wearing two pairs of pants right now for additional comfort and coziness. Welcome, my friends. My name is Peter Draws, hot dog chef extraordinaire. And today we're going to be looking into how to make a bachelor pie. I made it a point to learn how to make a pie before the year was up. And I think the bachelor pie is a great place to start. Now this is a very simple pie. It takes only a few minutes to make. And even more than that, it's very special to me because it was a recipe handed down to me by my father to me. And now I'm going to hand it down to you, my children. My father used this recipe to woo my mother, as they tell it, which is a little bit weird, but I have made it before and it is a very delicious pie. So let's begin. You're going to need only three ingredients. That's the beautiful part about it. A graham cracker pie crust, a tub of whipped topping. Get the big one, all right? Don't skimp out. You need this much, you really do. And one cup of strawberry yogurt. I always use strawberry yogurt, but if you don't like strawberries or if you're allergic or you just prefer something else, you go for it. But the original recipe, keep in mind, does call for strawberry yogurt. Next, get a big bowl and a big spoon. Keep in mind, the whipped topping usually comes frozen, so put it in the fridge a day or so before you want to start. Give it time to thaw out. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Sample it, make sure it's still good. It's still good. And then you want to dump all of it into a large mixing pot. Go ahead and get it all in there. Every last drop. I mean dollop. I guess this stuff comes by the dollop, huh? You've got it all in there. It's looking great. Take your yogurt, bust that little guy open, test it, make sure it's still good. Mmm. Strawberry E and yogurty. Dump that little guy in there. Every last dollop drop. So you've got all that in there. Next what you want to do is mix it up real good. Put some elbow grease in there too. That's the secret ingredient. Oh yeah, that's looking real good right there. Real nice, creamy, fluffy. Mm. Next you want to carefully take the lid off of your graham cracker pie crust. Everyone loves a good graham cracker pie crust. Save the lid. This is very important that you save the lid. Also, when you buy the graham cracker pie crust, of course, be very careful with it all the way from the time you pick it off the shelf and try to pick one that isn't cracked and broken up. Be careful with it all the way home. Baby it, coddle it, sing it to sleep at night every night. You want it to stay nice, pristine and unbroken. In fact, even if you're only planning on buying, I mean, making one pie, you might want to buy multiple in case one gets compromised structurally. This one looks great. I'm like, ah, ah, ah.
structurally. This one looks great. I'm like, ah, 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 ah. This one looks great. I'm like, ah, 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 ah. This one looks great. <laughs> All right, so, so I had to go sit down for a minute, catch my breath, breathe. I, I'm gonna try to assemble, reassemble the pie crust, all right, everybody? The best I can, as impossible as that may seem. We gotta reassemble it because life uh, you know, the show must go on, I mean. Life goes on. And even just now I'm realizing that this is pretty impossible. We've got, okay, we've got edge pieces. It was a, that was a rough few moments there for me. The pie crust slid out. Ah, it slid out of there and my whole world crumbled around me along with the pie crust. That has never happened to me before. But I got a little overconfident. I got a little showy and uh, I paid for it with my crust. As you can see here, we've got most of it back together. The remaining pieces, there's some gaps and the, remain, the remaining pieces I'm just gonna kinda put in there and hopefully the next stages, like I said, will kind of, kind of patch it together like brick mortar between the bricks, you know? In fact, yeah. Kind of get these crumbs together, put them in there. I said, I can't, I came here today to make a pie and I'm gonna make a pie, okay? All right, so take, oh, this wonderful goop is already hardening. We've almost already taken too long. All right, so put it in here. Oh, be careful. Put that on there. Squish it down over the gram, crackery, the cracked crackery grams. Let's squish it in there, spread it around. Oh yeah, this is just gonna be just fine. You wanna have a nice, nice kind of a hump to your pie. All right, you don't want it flat on top. Normally this would be a little bit easier to do if your pie crust was still intact, but I'm happy to here show you a worst case scenario and things in case things go south for you as well. You can deal with it. Improvise, adapt, reassemble that crust. You can get a knife out if you want to. There's your pie. Now take that lid you saved from before and pop it right down over the top. Cinch it back down a little bit. And put this sucker in the freezer for an hour or two until you just can't stand waiting anymore. All right, let's go. You probably have a little bit of this stuff left, and while you're waiting, you can appetize yourself, so to speak. Mm. It's healthy because it's got yogurt in it, which is it's good for your gut flora, okay?
All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a couple hours now, actually about five or six, maybe, <clears throat> maybe more than that. You don't know how long you need to leave it in there. If you want to, you can poke a fork in there and see if it feels frozen. Pull that sucker out of the freezer. Basically, if you stick the, the fork in there, it needs to feel like you're sticking into something frozen, a little bit of icy crunch, not all soft and mushy, okay. I had to leave mine in there a little longer than normal because I accidentally had left my uh, fridge off for the first three hours or so, so not as much was getting done. Oh, there we go. Once again, save the lid in case you don't eat part of it. You can put the lid back on, put it back in the freezer. But you know, you're a bachelor. This could be dinner, this whole thing. Do another fork test. Oh yeah. Seems frozen. Next we're gonna wanna pull out your pie tool. And I guess, I don't know, do you use this to cut it or something else? It's the only other thing I have. Uh, I'm gonna use the pie tool because if I use a very sharp knife, I'm afraid I might cut right through the aluminum foil pie pan, all right? Let's see if, oh yeah, I can, I can feel the crunch of the graham cracker crust under there. Fractured as it may be, that's all right. You wanna cut, make sure you cut all the way through. It's actually, Pretty solid on top here, you can see. Okay. And the, the final cut for what we're doing right now, you can cut the pieces as large or as small as you want. Get a plate. Let's see if it looks like a slice of pie. And there you have it, folks. A slice of bachelor pie. The back fell off, that's all right. Sometimes you wanna eat that by itself anyways. Let's try, try a bite. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Mm. Um. Yeah, that's the stuff. Even with that huge mishap we had in the beginning, everything turned out all right. You know, maybe I was being a little bit too careful with the, all my pie crusts in the past. Buying, you know, encouraging people to buy multiple ones, you know, making sure it didn't break or anything, maybe it doesn't matter at all. Sometimes it's nice to have a whole pie crust, but in the end, whole pie crusts really taste the same as a broken one. Mm. And the frozen graham cracker crust really is a special treat. It just pairs so well. Well, I think that's all from me today, folks. I know it was uh, not a very involved episode, but tho tho hopefully, for that reason, you can all follow along very simply and easily. It's a very approachable recipe. Ch cheap, simple, and straightforward. Let me know uh, what you want me to try cooking next. Wait, wait, I kinda wanna see if I can see what the bottom of one of these big pieces looks like. Oh my goodness, this is a perfect example of patching things back together again to make a perfect piece of pie. All right, All right, goodbye. Thanks for joining me. I've got my work cut out for me, I think. <laughs>